An APB shield consists of the widely closed cutting wheel with special tools arrangement and a center free ring drive. A pressure wall with stators which form the excavation chamber together with the cutting wheel. A screw conveyor and a conveyor belt to transport muck. Thrust cylinders and articulation cylinders for inclining the tail skin when driving curves. A compressed airlock, and the erector. In contrast to the bentonite shield, in the case of the EPB shield, the excavated soil itself acts as a supporting medium. To be able to fulfill this function, it must first be turned into a plastified consistency. Depending on the local conditions, this is done by the controlled injection of conditioning agents, such as foam. This makes it possible to reduce the drive torque and cut down wear at the same time. The foam is injected into the soil ahead via nozzles installed on the cutting wheel. Once the soil has been prepared in this way, it is no problem to transport it from the excavation chamber via a screw conveyor or onto a conveyor belt. From here, it will be further transported via rail or lorry. In the case of the EPB shield, the pressure for supporting the shield is controlled by the coordinated control of advancement speed and the screw speed. The excavation chamber will be filled to ensure adequate support of the face at all times and to be able to react correspondingly to pressures from the earth or groundwater.